In daily life, we often get caught up in unhelpful or painful thoughts, and we may waste a lot of time worrying or stressing or stewing on them. This can make us unnecessarily stressed, upset, or anxious, or simply lead us to waste a lot of time. The exercise that follows is designed to help you learn the skill of letting your thoughts come and go without getting caught up in them. I'm going to give you two different versions of the exercise. One version is for people who find it easy to visualize. That is for people who can close their eyes and create clear, vivid mental pictures, almost like the images you might see on a television or computer screen. The second version is for people who find it difficult to do that. So, first of all, find a comfortable position, sitting up with your back straight and your legs flat on the floor. Let your shoulders drop, and either close your eyes or fix them on a spot on the floor. Now bring your attention to your breathing, and for the next few breaths, really focus on emptying your lungs completely, on pushing out every last bit of air as you exhale, and then simply allow your lungs to fill by themselves. Resist the temptation to take a deep breath in. There's no need to do that. Once your lungs are empty, they will automatically refill all by themselves. So once again, just breathe out, empty your lungs, let them completely deflate, and then just allow them to fill by themselves. Just notice the air coming and going. Notice the air coming in through your nose, down into your lungs. And notice it leaving again. Now allow your breathing to find its own rate and rhythm. There's no need to keep controlling it. Just observe it. Just follow the air coming in. Follow it coming back out again. Now imagine that you're sitting in front of a beautiful stream. Imagine it as clearly as you can. Notice the sound as the water flows gently past. Notice the sunlight glistening on the surface. And imagine a procession of leaves floating along on the surface of this stream, one leaf after another, steadily drifting past. Now all you need to do is take each thought that pops into your head, and place it on the surface of a leaf, and allow it to drift past. So if your thought takes the form of a picture, then place that picture on the surface of a leaf, and watch it float on past. And if your thought is made up of words, then see those words written on the surface of the leaf, and simply watch as it floats past. That's all you need to do for this exercise. No matter what the thought is, even if it's a thought like "I can't do it" or "This is stupid," just take that thought, place it on a leaf, and let it drift on by. If you find it hard to visualize, then simply imagine a moving black strip, a black strip that continually moves past, a bit like a conveyor belt, and take each thought or picture that appears and place it onto that moving strip of blackness. And let it move on by. That's all. No matter what the thought is, simply place it on the strip, or onto a leaf, and let it float on by.
If no thoughts or images are appearing, then simply let the stream keep flowing past, or keep letting the black strip keep moving past. And each time a thought or image does appear, then simply place it on that strip or onto a leaf, and let it go by. Now, from time to time, a thought will hook you in, and you'll lose track of this exercise. There's no need to be frustrated or disappointed. We expect that to happen. The moment you realize it's happened, simply start the exercise again. Note the thought that distracted you. Place it on a leaf or onto the black strip, and simply carry on with the exercise. Again and again and again, thoughts will hook you in, and you'll lose track of the exercise. The moment you realize that has happened, simply note the distraction, place it onto a leaf or on the strip, and simply carry on from where you left off. If you have the thought, "I can't do it," I keep drifting off, it's hopeless, then take that thought and place it on a leaf or onto the strip. If you have the thought, "This is boring" or "This is too hard," once again simply place it onto a leaf or onto the strip, and carry on with the exercise.
And now bring your attention back to your breath, once more following the breath in and out. Noticing your position in the chair, your feet on the floor, position of your back and your head and your spine and your arms and your legs. And take a moment to congratulate yourself for having practiced this skill. With regular practice, you'll get better and better at learning how to let your thoughts come and go, no matter how scary or painful or stressful they may be.